Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fight Channel for the UFC, ladies and gentlemen. Rumors are going around that June Jones do not want to face the interim champion, ladies and gentlemen, but he want to face the light heavyweight champion for his title, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if this will happen, and we're going to show you the fight right here on the Fight Channel. See you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. So here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. You guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Poetai Perea! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. 
So here is John Jones with his reach approaching 85 inches, a difficult proposition for any opposition. Jones here immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see how he approaches the early moments in this one. Connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped right around the world. Beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight, but if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue down this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. Does a lot of damage. Frantic pace early on to this one. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the left. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, my goodness, these boys are going at it. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a bit... Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Oh, Kimura into the arm bar now. What a transition by this grappler. Oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. That was a slick transition. But eight is back to the side control now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. But eight has got full mount now. This is a terrible position. Big combination here of ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Pedata. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, then posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. another takedown and he's doing it over and over again what i am a massive fan of is his cardio the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown attempts nice loop and punch 15 seconds to go Take 
down like that might be the difference. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, couldn't get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool to start the next round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Able to check the high kick. And there's the single. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. In the half guard. All right, he's got him in the north-south. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands, every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's gonna end very early. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. putting himself in position. But eight is in half guard. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Get the ball here. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did. Well, he's got his back now. Jones is going for the sub here. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Yeah, I have. <laughs> All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, 
no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice jab up top by Pereira. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the back. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Touched him with the strike there. Jones's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh! What a kick! Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Nice double leg, nice finish. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Jones going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Yeah, yeah. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle is tight. Inside control. You got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Front kick by Padilla. Trying the flying knee there. Jones gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, misses with the jab. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Beautiful kick lands. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Now to go in the round. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. 
Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Under a minute now to go. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Alex Pereira gets hit with a kick. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round two, which could have an impact on the judges' potential. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. You walk back to your corner. When you get up from a dominant position, you almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it right. right. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. All right, three rounds All right. down, potentially two more to go. We are yes, headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your side. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But Jones is trying to lock up on a submission now. All right, looks like that Darce is tight. <laughs> Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Pedato. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he got to the spot. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Think. Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Oh, nice. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, he slams him down with authority. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know he's got... Oh, he's attacking choke now. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. It's so deep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back 
towards his opponent and back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And Beautiful. you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast table. Did, John. You know I love popcorn. Uh -huh. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. But hey, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Another big kick. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Under a minute to go in round four. But Angus thigh and the outside of it really starting to bruise here. You wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Oh, 20 minutes down, five to go. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Alex Pereira gets crushed with that hook. Jones is really having a hard time putting weight on that leg now. You can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. Oh, huge kick! Make the bad man stop! Oh, going for the takedown here. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Leg kick lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you gotta you gotta defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build. Because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get <laughs> hit down there. You can't be, you can't be too skinny. Jones is in half court. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Jones is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, big shots from the top. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. 
Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Pereira. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Jones is trying for a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending all this energy, trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Get that good wrist control now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Johnny Bone. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, Sean. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Now some separation from this clutch position. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. That one landed clean. Oh, got to keep pressing here. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Right back. Jones is swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not uh, a fun position to be in, in fighting. You've got to... Jones is looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Stop, stop. All right, well, as expected, nothing easy about it. The fight goes the full 25-minute distance. Could be looking at a split decision here, Daniel. A very close fight. I mean, this is uncomfortable. I've sat there before, walking yeah. to the middle of the octagon in a title fight as the champion, not knowing if I had done enough to win. This is a nervous feeling, but I believe the champ did just enough to keep the belt. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. All right, so you heard it there from Bruce. Congratulations to John Jones, your winner tonight by decision. Had to dig deep at times against a credentialed opponent, but uh, result. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a win for Jones. What a matchup these two champions go at each other. Ladies and gentlemen, like watch here on UFC, ladies and gentlemen. Got more UFC coming your way here on the Fight Channel. See you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.